Hey family, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I pray you're well. I'm excited to see y'all and to share this quick word of the Lord with you guys. And we are also singing today. So tenors, altos, sopranos, alley cats, <laughs> get ready. We are singing today. Some of us are going to sound a disaster. Some of y'all can sing, okay? I'm in the disaster pile. So we're going to get it out. But listen, this word is so beautiful. I want to just pour it into your spirit because I know it's such a now word for the body. But as I was in prayer the other day, I heard the Lord say, out with the old and in with the new. And so we have to understand that he is still doing a new thing in all of our lives. And so this current season, he's really orchestrating things behind the scenes for the next level of your promises. And so it has left a lot of us in the body in this place of transition or shifting or kind of like limbo or crossroad is what some of you may be feeling. And so as you wait in that place, it creates confusion. It creates bewilderment almost because you don't understand what God is doing. It feels like he's not saying anything or speaking to you. You've been crying out, you've been praying and you're just not getting anything. And it's because he has already told you what to do, whether that is wait, whether that is to continue working on what it is that he instructed you to do last, whether you moved out of a, a situation or relationship and you're just kind of waiting for that next thing, like whatever it is, you're in a holding period waiting for the Lord. And so he wants you to know that you haven't done anything wrong. Now, on the other side of that, if you haven't been obedient to what God has showed you to do in your personal situation, then that is a different situation. That's um, the cause of your weight rather is something different. And so you want to make sure you're obedient to what God has called you to do so that your waiting or the opposition or warfare that's coming up against you um, is not in vain, so to speak, right? Like you're not causing it unnecessarily because of disobedience. But I really feel like a lot of you have been doing what God has said to do. And it's just like a frustrating season because you don't know what's next. And so as I heard the Lord say out with the old in with the new, I began to see in the spirit, the old wine skins and new wine skins. And so what the Lord is doing right now in your waiting season, he is equipping you for the next level, the next season, the, the next phase. And so he is giving you the new wine, the new oil. This is anointing. This is wisdom. This is knowledge. This is understanding. This is instruction, strategies, and everything that you need to operate and sustain on the next level of your life in all areas, business, ministry, career, relationship, friendships, marriage, like whatever it is, God is building you up for that now. And so just on the other side of this crossing over that we're doing, we're actually coming into the day of atonement tomorrow. And so this makes so much sense of how a lot of us in the body are just feeling that that weight on us and needing to just lay those burdens down at the Lord's feet to atone for any sins that we have, to allow the Holy Spirit to even bring to our remembrance if we have forgotten. It could be something as small as a lack of gratitude. It can be something large as just falling into habitual sin or backsliding. Like whatever it is, God wants to clean us all up to cross us over into this next season and into this new year that we just entered into spiritually. And so help me, Holy Spirit. And so, yes. And so as we're moving forward, out with the old and with the new, my big sister actually reminded me of this this morning. This is my blood sister and my sister in Christ. But she reminded me of this this morning. It was a word that the Lord gave me around this time last year. And he said that we are on the other side of the 10 or you are on the other side of the 10. And what he was speaking of was John 10, 10, where Jesus says in that first sentence that the thief only comes or came to kill, steal and destroy. But that second side of that stanza or the other part of that 10, the other part of that scripture, the other side that we're walking out in that word is, but I have come 
that you may have life and life more abundantly. And this is what God is saying to us today. And not only that, today is October the 10th. It is 1010. And she texted me back and was like, Swiss, we call each other Swiss, like Swiss cheese. <laughs> she was like, Swiss, today is the 10th. And I was like, yes, I realized that after the fact. And it's so on time to what God had just already been speaking to me just the last few days. And so Swiss, if you are watching, I love you so much. But listen, every one of you who are listening to this, you are on the other side of the 10. God wants you to know that. And so as you lay your burdens down, as you lay down the weight of the weight, I've talked about this before, the W-E-I-G-H-T of the W-A-I-T, whatever you're waiting on, all right. A lot of you just waiting on your promises to be fulfilled for love. And this is what the song that we're going to sing today is talking about as well. And so just not giving up, holding on and things like that. And so this crossroad season is a season of testing as well, because the Lord is watching to see what we will do. And so in those periods of waiting, it's, it can be very tempting to go back or to backslide. And so this is another part of that out with the old, in with the new. Like, don't be trying to think about the past or want to go back to the past or want things the way they were because it's too hard to move forward or it seems too hard to move forward or you don't have the strength, you don't have the energy, you don't have the faith, it seems, because you've just been so worn down by the battles, worn down by every little thing that's been coming against you that has been piling up and compounding on each other to get you to pretty much go crazy or lose your mind. So God is giving you a new wineskin. He is renewing your mind in those areas where you feel like you're about to lose it. Come on, somebody. Who am I talking to? Drop some fire emojis in the comments. Let me know that you are still here and that this is resonating with you. Yes, and so if the enemy can't defeat you in, in that area of getting you to go back to the bondages you've been free from, then he's gonna try to get you in the mindset, the battlefield of the mind, if I can just say it like that, okay? And so be on guard for that. Don't defeat yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, let me get into the song. Let's get into the song, you guys, because I do have a scripture, but it's at the end of the song that I want to share. But what we are singing today, altos, tenors, sopranos, alley cats, get ready. <laughs> this is Sounds of Blackness. I didn't get the year, but the name of the group is Sounds of Blackness. Some of you guys may have figured it out. The name of the song is Hold On, Change is Coming. And so this is what I heard, I actually heard these words this morning. And this was the part of the song. So five, six, seven. Some people like to worry. Some people like to hide. Some people like to run away from the pain inside. Now it's your business. Do whatever you want to do. But if it don't work out, here's what you ought to do. Just hold on, hold on. Change is coming, change is coming. Hold on, hold on. And don't worry about a thing. Hold on, hold on. You can make it, you can make it. Hold on, hold on. Everything, everything will be all right. When the troubles in life weigh you down, just lift your head up. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, when the love that you seek is hard to find. Come on, marriage, kids, children, promises. Come on. Don't give up. Just be strong. Keep the faith and hold on. Change is coming. Change is coming. Hold on. Hold on. Don't worry about a thing. Hold on. Oh, no, say you can make it. <laughs> everything, everything will be all right. Come on, y'all. Give yourself a hand clap. We sound good and terrible all at once. A beautiful disaster in Jesus' name. 
<laughs> but listen, another song came to me too by the same group. And it's called Be Optimistic. I know y'all know this one too. It is a banger. This is one of my favorite songs just for inspiration. Okay, so I'm going to sing some of this. Tenors, alto, sopranos, alley cats. Come on, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't give up and don't give in. Although it seems you never win. You will always pass the test as long as you keep your head to the sky. Come on, y'all. You can win as long as you keep your head to the sky. Be optimistic. You can win. Come on, mindset. As long as you keep your head to the sky. Yes, yes, yes. You can win. One more. As long as you keep your head to the sky. <laughs> Be optimistic. Yes, look up. Keep your head up. Look up for your redemption draws nigh. Yes. So here's the scripture and we could get out of here. Matthew 22, 32. And this is Jesus speaking. He says, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. So in this scripture, he was actually talking about the marriage supper and the resurrection and so just as i was saying in the song like looking for that love this marriage is twofold this is your covenant relationship with the lord this is you atoning this is you getting back into alignment out with the old and with the new getting rid of all residue and then also those of you who are waiting on the other side of the ten of that for your your physical manifestation of your marriages right so yes and so this is what the Lord was showing me in this. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and of Jacob. This is the revelation that came to me. Just like the Lord kept his promises to them, he keeps his promises to you. So regardless if you did mess up, if you did backslide, if you need to repent, like whatever it is. And so just like with Abraham creating Ishmael, God still blessed him with Isaac and called Abraham his faithful friend. Even though Isaac committed the same sins of his father, meaning lying about Rebecca being his sister, just as Abraham lied about Sarah being his sister, God still blessed Isaac with a way out of that situation and with an inheritance. And then even though Jacob wrestled with God and was going against the plan of God, and when he surrendered, God still chose to do a new thing through Jacob, changing his name to Israel and appointing him to be the conduit to usher in the 12 tribes of Israel, his chosen people. And then, of course, we know the Gentiles are grafted in. So we are all part of the body of Christ. So I just wanted to share that revelation that God gave me. But listen, out with the old, in with the new, just understand he's doing a new thing in your life. This pause that you feel, this crossroad that you're at, whatever your instruction is, if it is to keep moving forward, if you got your hands to some work, if it's for you to rest and wait on the Lord for your next instruction, whatever it is, do what the Lord has instructed you to do in your personal situation. Just know that you are on the other side of the 10. God is working everything together for your good. All right. And so I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you feel this word is for someone else, if they came to your mind as you were listening, please share it with them, play it back to get it into your spirit. And I also want to thank each and every one of you for your support. And those of you who are sowing into my life so generously and into the ministry with your finances, may the Lord continue to bless you 100, 1000 fold in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. Get some lemon water. Those of you who really went in today with your singing, get some lemon water. Get your vocal cords back together. I'm going to be doing the same because I'm sure we're going to be singing again real soon. Okay. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Be blessed. I'm praying for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on. Change is coming. Don't worry about a thing. Father, we just thank you for everything that you have done for us, everything that you continue to do for us, continue to, to hide us in your bosom, continue to protect us and keep us. No weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, we love you and thank you for being our, our high priest, our intercessor, our big brother, our Lord and Savior. Thank you for praying for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Amen and amen. All right. See you guys soon.